Howder from Down Under, and welcome to part two of my last, latest TF Safari haul from last week. Yeah. So, uh, hopefully, this one is gonna be a whole lot less dramatic than uh, the first boy. And uh, without further ado, let's get to it. Dun, da, da, dun, 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 dun. Dun, da, da, dun, dun, da, da, da. <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh, yeah, you got it. It is another one of my beautiful boys. Yes, this is my secret number four after the original iconic trio. This is specifically Make Toys MTRM 16 Jetstream, aka Thrust. And uh, I thrust that this is gonna be fun and exciting and potentially just as weird as his other brethren from the same line. Okay, I should probably show off the rest of the box, so, ah, uh, here it is, in all of its glory, I guess, very nice, shiny, we got the sides here with the, it's like, yep, oh, actually it's upside down, but, yep, and then the top, nice, and then the side, noise. Anything at the bottom? Ah, already, yes. Bit of a preview of the accessories. So despite the lack of the EX in the code, I guess, um, we do seem to still have the five faces, the blaster effects, the flight stand, and the weird doohickey that I now know is going on the bottom of the jet mode. Yeah, yeah, a uh, couple of quick updates on that eventually, but I like it also comes with the regular null blasters and also like bombs, Tor torpedoes, air torpedoes, missiles, uh. and then last but not least, of course, the back. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, okay, ooh, ooh, look at that, the show, four faces this time, pretty interesting ones too, there he is, there he's gonna be, um, okay, right, with that out of the way, ta-da, and there he is, wait, in all of his, um, wait a minute. Oh. What the? This is pure just friction. It's not, there's no tape or anything. It's just clicked in nicely. Ah, oh. and he is very clearly partially transformed glory. <laughs> yeah, but hey. Damn, that looks cool. Very cool. Huh. 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 Okay, so that's a bit weird. And a tiny bit miffing for me because uh, that almost is not quite false advertising, but uh, it's like what they there's a certain point in th the production process they thought no 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 we're gonna change these but not change the artwork or just redo the photos you know lazy lazy lazy. And yeah, from what I understand, this is a bit more cartoon accurate, so, I mean, not too bad. But is it wrong that I would have preferred for them to just stick 
with the black and red and just complete the look. Uh, I, although some would argue this actually completes the look, being the more cartoon accurate uh, color combination, but uh, yeah, just some consistency, please. You know, not a big deal, but just wanted to point it out. I guess. Well, here we have all all the four extra faces that were just loose in the box, which is interesting compared to you know his ex brethren that I got before from Make Toys. Uh, here are the two Null Rays. Good stuff. Well, we called them Null Blossers before. But the, 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 the Pew Pews. And of course here are the uh, two shorter uh, tips for the jet mount to make them look more just regular old missiles. And these are just pulling apart, apparently. Because the tip just... Huh. One second. Uh, yeah. It is very, very loosely attached. No, practically just the tiniest bit of friction holding it all together. And uh, stopping it from just, just falling. But uh, it just easily pulls off. But it is interesting as well. Yeah. Because what uh, no, uh, the photos don't demonstrate is that it still has the, the extendable, you know, uh, stem, I guess. I, I can't come up with a better word at the moment. But extendable stem, just like the null rays do, also for some good possibility. So that's that's pretty cool. And you can they come, it comes with two of them. Awesome. I do also finally know where and how this fits on the uh, jet mode, right? It's 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 on the sort of essentially the chest portion of what would have been the robot mode, and then sort of uh, I'll demonstrate. But yeah, I fi finally finally I found out how to do it. Still not sure whether this is for the uh, flight stand. But, um, yeah. the flight stand itself, I finally know how to attach to the bot mode, at least. And, I don't know. I mean, it still does look like that I should be able to attach this to this. Though, looking at look closer at this, the shaping of this hole just seems to be a bit different than... No, never mind, I just definitely have terrible memory. This, I, I kind of remember this being a just solid shape, but no, it does have very much one of those specifically grooved out shapes so that this attaches in a certain specific way. Which will be interesting to find out. I mean, I mean, if I got this right, then this should be like, uh, so. Hmm. Ah, uh, well, I, I guess I can. I can. Uh. Hmm, I can faff about with it later, but I was never quite sure about the combination of these two. Anyway, and this one is, I think, <laughs> uh, is from my uh, Lightning. So, make toys' MTRM EX13 Lightning. I got the code right. AKA Thundercracker. And speaking of Lightning, <laughs> ta da! Apparently, Jetstream here actually comes with the uh, wing fillers for Lightning for some bizarre reason. Yeah, fun stuff. Uh, despite the faces being loosely packed with the figure, there is some nice uh, part storage in the fly stand anyway, which is just for the blast effects this time. Yeah, uh, it. Actually, no, hang on. 
I can see it fits the, for the faces too. So if I'm just gonna grab one of these and just try and pop them on. Oh, I think, I think his faces are either too narrow or too wide to fit properly on that. That's why they're loose. Oh, ho, 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 ho. wow. Wow. Okay. Way to get a big head there, Thrust. <laughs> Holy moly. That explains so much. And there's the beautiful specimen in his fully transformed glory. Yeah, so, uh, he is definitely on par with his other Ma uh, Make Toy Seeker brethren. He this is, this is, despite appearance, is pretty much the same mold, with some extra different tidbits, I suppose, to, to make him into more of a, one of the cone heads, you know? So, I guess I should quickly go through those. Uh, a, these don't fold in any way, shape, or form, they're just static, there, to be. Uh, these do actually turn. I don't have a good way to demonstrate it, maybe blow it out, or not something. Oh, maybe I could. <laughs> yeah, but I add a little bit of a play feature there, which is awesome. He, again, despite not having the EX in uh, code, he does have the fully articulated hands, you know, with individually hinged um, knuckles, uh, Fingers. And of course, being the Make Toys, um, you know, Seeker Mold, he has the same problematic thumbs up. That is to say, a very awkward looking one. Although, I do admit this looks a bit better than my uh, previous solution of turning the whole thing around and upside down. <laughs> Just a strange design choice to have the ball joint sort of to the side or the underneath the thumb and not having any hinge joint attached to it you know it just it it looks a bit awkward but you know what i i managed it with the other three i can manage it here no problem there is of course uh, wrist articulation you know you can go around the arm articulation is as good as always. You have a decent, almost complete bend at the arm. Uh, there is, a, of course, a bicep swivel. Very nice. The shoulders, I mean, uh, the. Oh, there it goes. The arm can. Oh, wait a second. Very tight, but the arm can go all. Second. The way around, and the shoulders can go up a decent chunk. Obviously, uh, just straight up, his shoulder thing he gets in the way. But you can as always cheat a full, well not cheat, but just like get a full arm up and then just so wiggle your arm and wrist however you want to get the full uh, upward arm articulation. Uh, the one thing this guy actually has over his previous three is that this, well this has the same problem as the other three that the the peg hole in there is very tight so the peg here you have to really at least first few times force it in there as carefully of course to the point where I unfold this out actually so I get a nice bit of hand a bit of a handle and leverage and just really really force it in there and uh, it doesn't actually go fully in this one so that's a bit 
annoying, but the one thing he has over his other uh, Seeker brothers is that his wing here folds all the way back. Uh, with the other Seekers, it folded till above. Yeah. So to wit, he is uh, Skywarp or Make Toys's MTRM EX12 uh, Skycrow. Hello. And uh, to wit, to demonstrate, yeah, his wing only goes back yay much. <laughs> Which would um, get in the way. Second. Which would mean that in the end it would get in the way of full <laughs> arm articulation needing to pretty much un untab this whole thing here and then just yay and then maybe somehow cheat but no, not really, you just, you just have to just have to deal with it. Although on that note, I may have spoken too soon because even though this falls all the way back, it still, because of the design, gets in the way of the entire <laughs> arm articulation, needing to just, oh, ah, oh, this is gonna, I hope this, this, oh, goodness, needing to just get it all in and ta-da, and then, yeah, just deal with it. Also, potentially, because this has been a problem three for three with the other uh, three, uh, there could be a problem with the wrists. These are actually slightly bigger than the what would be constituted as the original versions of these figures, because um, th this guy, despite Again, not having EX in the title, he is very clearly modeled after the what we now know as the EX versions of the original Starscream mold, um, which includes obviously improvements of like uh, extra faces and and better wristies. Uh, the newest versions come with like wing fillers and you know there's the there's the flight stand. So a lot of it is, I guess, accessories and then some. Uh, things but as far as the wrists <clears throat> these are bigger than the what the original design had and unfortunately there was a flaw in the first three that I got which was you know, Starscream aka Meteor, Thundercrack aka Lightning and Sky Warp aka Skycrow is that the wrists were situated a tiny bit off to the side from from slightly off center by half a millimeter but what that did was was create weird shenanigans during transformation part of it is, is to pull this down wow brother like so so and oh yeah okay, i forgot to, to fold the thumb and this guy um yep Okay, hang on. Hang on. Let me try this other one. Let me try the other wristy. <clears throat> uh, let me try. Oh, boy. oh, yeah, this is definitely it. Okay, so actually, you can see. My goodness, you can see that it is off. Center. But just in case, yeah, wow, that is bad. That is actually, I think, even worse. I think that's off by a probably by a whole millimeter, yeah, but maybe half, maybe most of them. But yeah, you can see. But here, let's demonstrate. Oh, actually, here's one. No, no, pretty much center. Off center. Flight center. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah, again. And so, so, this one folds in just fine. 
us. Right? No problems. But this one, oh, this is gonna be problems because the basic folding is blocked. So you have to finagle this by putting it diagonally and then folding it in and then watch as the wrist oh oh god I, I don't know if I can do it yep as the wrist actually expands a bit a slight bit to accommodate this is a stretches and and you know strains and then oh okay yep there you go Oh, oh well, it still goes in. Good. And there you go. And uh, ah, yai. Yeah, that's bad. And then you can you can sort of see it's a lightly kind of bulging and bucking. And maybe slightly opening this up a bit. Yeah. It's a bit worrying, but you know, after the initial couple of times, it, the plastic sort of. I don't know how to say it gets used to it or, or sets in place that it's gotta be a bit more open than. Uh, yeah. But, the, but yeah, the first time I, I found out about this on the other guys, I was just. I was livid and the thumb popped off. <laughs> oh, like a bullet out of a gun. Yeah. Okay, not to worry, the thumb is back on. No problems. Because just as easy as it is to pop off, it is pretty easy to bolt back on. Yeah. I guess I should go over the uh, leg articulation as well, shouldn't I? Well, if you flip these size goes up, the leg does kick out quite. Oh, it's, it's nice and tight and ratchety. Kick out quite nicely. Oh, is it easy? Quite nicely up. Yep, yeah, only only really blocked by the Satsuka there. Um, but yeah, no. But yeah, quite quite a good high kick. You can go out, of course. So, yeah. Um. The legs do get a nice bend where you can just bend it here at sort of the bottom joint and then you can bend it for a second you can sort of bend it more with the other ratchet joint and uh that is really nice like then ankles do have a good good bit of oh, articulation good nice big uh, turn there the toes technically don't have any articulation but you can kind of just point them down if you really want to so you know it's more for the transformation but it's sort of one of those instances of an incidental articulation um so there's that uh, yeah of course the, there's a good spread yeah you can go completely sideways uh as far as the back kick well, as long as you get the butt flip out of the way, another standard or rather running feature of uh, the small the butt flap, yep. With with which mileage may vary how much it stands out or how much it, how bothersome it is um, to uh, notice or look at. It's it's wor the worst on star screen, but it's probably the best on. Skywalk, you know, because the lighter color, darker color, composition, stuff like that. So you unfold it up, and then you go. Oh, I'm moving his waist here than anything else. Yeah. And then. Uh, uh, bear with me for a moment because these are very nicely tight joints, but. Um, oh, yeah. Second. almost a question of can it even move back hang on <laughs> this is weird I, this never happened to me I promise I actually 
Maybe I should put this like down so I can have some nice leverage there. So one second. Oh, this is extra. Why is this so tight? Oh my goodness. Oh, does so I can lift up a lot more than I think. So, oh, sorry. This is very tight. This is unusually extra out tight. But yes, we can move the buff flap out of the way and we can move the back leg quite a decent bit. So that's good. Wow. That is just, wow. Okay. And then just as the legs are a bit tight, another sort of a, oh, oh, you know what? Yeah, we have, we have a nice Ab crunch with him, nice, and he can even do a bit of a, a bit of a yawning stretch. The thing is, though, with this mold sometimes is that um, second, let me just pop him down proper. Is sometimes when you lean him back, yeah, the that stretch just becomes automatic, and just the gravity takes over and the. Uh, hinge over there just gives up and just decides to open up so mileage may vary on that one but it can be a bit annoying when you want to pose them in some of the more dramatic poses and just have to somehow either compensate or deal with that or if you have a way to tighten that go for it you know? but yeah Bef before I forget he does have full rotation of the head he can lift it up this one is unique because while the head itself is on a little ball joint there allowing for some nice you know all around movement he also has an extra extra hinge joint in the actual head which which is what allows him for a very good head tilt upwards you can kind of tilt down, but not really, but the, the upward tilt is like crazy. Um, so, just like with uh, the other three Seekers, I do feel like the majority of my first impressions and uh, my thoughts and my observations and my descriptions do make it seem like I do nothing but complain about this mold. And yes, uh, cards on the table, there are some very obvious and glaring, though potentially, and I do understand in margin, very, but minor issues, you know, some, somewhat loose waist, uh, I don't know, stretched, uh, French swivel, you know, a bit, a, a, a bit annoying if you want to lean them back in, in any capacity for dramatic poses. The wrists being off center, or specifically with him, I should say, the wrist, right wrist being off center, annoying when it comes to transformation, because be extra careful with the fingers and thumbs to not pop them out. Uh, when you do it, um, <laughs> what else? Uh, the wings getting in the way for of the full arm articulation. Uh, <laughs> but honestly, really, that is just little tidbits, little things that can be worked around, can be overlooked can be just paid a, a bit more attention to and just, you know, to me personally, don't get in the way of enjoying the rest of the mold, the rest of the build, the rest of the figure at the moment. Um, and I and I really had to start, even now sitting here, I start to start looking for them. If I don't think about it, <laughs> wow, if I don't think about it, they're not there. But no, they're there. Be aware, but in the end, as far as the robot mode, I still love it. It's still great. They look, they, him, the other ones, look amazing. 
if you're looking for cartoon accuracy, I don't think you can go any better than this. Make toys really know how to nail the look. The guy feels oh nice and hefty and durable and solid, you know, he's great. I have personally dropped <laughs> the other guys uh, multiple times when handling them, transforming them, playing with them, and they, they're fine, they're still in one piece, you know, no problems there, so yeah, full uh, cool thumbs up on durability and playability and likability and lookability, so yeah, no, no, I, I fucking love this mold, I fucking love these sickers, and yeah, I just want to put full disclosure on the yes concerns I like to more call them concerns rather than issues but concerns issues flaws that there are and ironically some of them specifically with the wrists are from upgrading the mold right the original from way back when didn't have the full articulation on the fingers that's why the wrists are now bigger and to accommodate that and that, that created an issue that wasn't there before but hey the playability has skyrocketed with that so yeah no look um he's great and i do i do appreciate this folding a lot more with this guy you know than it does with the others you know it's pretty great i do appreciate these being able to actually roll it's actually really fun he looks Look at, look at that happy bugger, yeah. He's big, he's solid, I'm rambling, doesn't matter. 9 out of 10 uh, robot mode, easily. Uh, he is purely from just the experience. He's easily probably even, I was going to say, the best out of the bunch. I kind of wish these maybe folded away somehow. Yeah, even just as a solid block, just just be fine. Just just fold them away, you know. Otherwise, it, it does kind of make him make his legs rather wider than it should be. But um, no, no, love this guy, absolute love. Him. It's a great addition to my Siki collection. I still, I'll admit, I still want more. <laughs> I have this big, far-reaching dream of a full rainbow of Seekers, and potentially, maybe I might even reach even more of it. Um, partly, I should say that mileage may vary on this because uh, of the price. Yeah, so see, my love for these guys have been enhanced by the fact that the first three I got on a very very good deal from TF Source, right? While this guy is essentially what you would term as a full price acquisition, and so you know he clocks in at a uh, hundred thirty five dollar donuts. Yeah, and depending on your budget and your willingness to shell out for, uh, no offense, Thrust, a, a, a much lesser known character, uh, yeah, yeah, that, that might vary your mileage quite a bit further. But honestly, I'm happy. I'm still very happy. And I picked him specifically because he does look cool. I... Personally, I'm not too familiar with the character, but you know, hey, he's another seeker. He looks very different, the most different from the other ones that I have already, and he's a great addition, and honestly, I'm very happy. But, um, yeah, so, uh, we've covered the mold, we've covered the robot mode in its entirety, the good, the bad, and the eh. So the only thing left is to transform him. The transformation is actually, while kind of scary looking at first, is is actually pretty fun and pretty intuitive. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to transforming this guy there and back again and uh, see how it is. Most likely exactly the same as the other guys. Okay, it's definitely 
the same as the other guys, maybe with some adjustments for the wings, but um, yeah, let's see. I guess real quick before I do get to the transformation, I should show off the fact that he can equip not one, but two types of weapons in robot mode. Uh, unfortunately, this did lead to another not so pleasant surprise of this peg that these uh, bombs are on being uh, actually the tiniest bit too large for the hole. I had to very carefully and methodically just micrometer by micrometer na uh, file off, shave off the edges, the shave off the the circumference so until it fit still quite snugly into there so and I'm gonna have to do the same for this one because I did check and yeah it, it they both are uh, just the teeniest tiniest bit too thick on the flip side damn he does look cool with with either one equipped so you have options it's great uh, whichever one you prefer yes they are both on these hinge Dogs, so you know that really does add to the uh, posability, which is nice. So yeah, yeah, don't stop. You have got to be fucking joking. I was just thinking to myself, hey, you know, good thing I've transformed three of these before. I don't even need the instructions, which is a good thing, because this guy apparently came with none he came with wing fillers for another figure but no instructions for himself what the hell make toys what the hell okay so let's start I guess um first and foremost I'm just gonna fold in this thumb in here Fold in the fingers and then, and then of course, diagonally as it comes, fold in the uh, the fist. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Yep. Uh, uh, the good news is here that it, even though it does seem like it's sticking out a whole bunch, well, okay, it is sticking out a whole bunch, it doesn't actually interfere with the transformation, thank goodness. So. So, it's pretty good, and then we just condense the arm completely. Yep. Yeah. And then we do the same for this hand here, a lot easier because it just... Oh wait, hang on, I forgot to do the thumb again. Oh, no, 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 my fingers. Ah, thing is, so we push the, the fist in. Oh, 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 there you go. Ah, that's proper. See, that's how much it should be. You know, this much. Not what the hell this is. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, we just condense the arm as well. Easy breezy. All done. At least the arms are all done. Uh, then uh, this stuff technically should pop off. And we just pop oh, I should probably rather open these up as well. And we just pop off uh, hmm, hang on. I guess we open up his waist a bit, and then we pull down the uh, the side skirts to give a bit of room to. Um, hang on. There we go. There we go. To open these up. Uh, open these. Um, 
that should give us the room to open up other things, but we'll get to that in a moment. First and foremost, we're gonna open up the back here, yeah, and then unfold the the cockpit. Cool. Then unfold nose cone. Cool. The uh, head very neatly. At least, should very neatly. <laughs> Hang on a moment. And very, very neatly. Oh, there you go. Fits into the nose cone. And then the nose cone will eventually close over the, essentially the bit of, the, the tiny bit of fake kibble over here. So, because we unlocked this bit in here, we can literally pull out oh I'm just getting something more we can literally pull out this whole oh boy. hang on ah what the hell what the hell it was getting caught okay this whole shebang in here right we can pull it completely out and before we completely close this hole in we twist it around we twist it around like so but even before that uh, this thing here wait hang on a moment should this open up yep yep this thing this thing here actually opens up and unfolds some more right unfolds some more and then, oh yeah, yeah, because we unfold essentially the back end of this whole thing. Unfolds, and then folds back in here. And then, huh, that's weird. That's not, ah, okay, hang on. And then, folds in, like, hmm. There we go. Folds in like so. Then this thing flips. This 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 whole shebang extends completely forward, right? And this closes in. Eventually giving us let me see if I can get it. Oh. Huh. Eventually giving us the front of the plane. Um. One moment. There we go. Complete, total, full front of the plane. And that's pretty much majority of the, I, I, you could say, the complicated transformation done. Then we have little fiddly bits in here because... Uh, these little things that we unfolded before, right, they need to, they actually themselves unfold. Wait a second. One second. There we go. They, they fully unfold. It's tight. And fold out like so, completely. And then, essentially, this whole thing is loose now, and then just folds in. Wah! like so and then of course we do the same for the other side that is not nearly as tight for some reason and then holds in like so forming kind of a oh no wait 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 I didn't do it fully <laughs> made that mistake last time all folds in as a bit of there's a bit of wiggly waggly going on here and it's sort of loosely aligned into a kind of an arrow to a uh, kind of an upward pointing arrow shape that's how you know you got it right and then that opens up for the arms to simply go down oh wait sorry I skipped a step before that the side skirts that you folded down before right you fold them all the, all the way up and you sort of close them oh 
<laughs> a bit loose. Close them in, and that sort of completes this whole bit in here. Then yeah, then the arms simply slide down and close in. A bit more. Close in like so, and then these on these little tabs here. There's a little hole in there, and just should just lock on. And do the same for the other arm. Lock on. Didn't click in as much yet. And there you go. That is practically the plane done. Yeah. Okay. And then, essentially, all that's left is the legs. So with the legs. You do need to do a bit of finicky fiddling. So first of all, you uh, you fold out the feet as if you were going to give them an, a nice dramatic pose, and then you are going to well, grab these jet exhausts and just twist them back in to a bit more in, in, inside. And you can pop that back back down, no problem. Now the funny thing here is that there is actually there is actually a double joint here on the toes essentially. So do you best to essentially close it down, but then also uh, close it up. Oh Down. Ah, there we go, down. Because it's essentially, the, the idea essentially is to put it flush with the bottom of, well, the eventual bottom of the, uh, the plane here. And uh, I'm just gonna open things up here. And then, and then get in the way. Oh, ah, oh, oh damn, okay. Oh, oh, yep, I got it. I got it. <laughs> I feel so proud because. Before with the previous ones, I couldn't do it. It was that tight, and I kind of a s went back and forth on whether or not there was a double joint there, and I went there wasn't. So it's nice to just do it properly this time. It's like ha ta da! And then, obviously, the same on this other foot. I mean, before that, obviously, you need to open open the back of the leg. I should probably say that. But leg yep pop it in oh, pop it back in and then yeah do your best to just carefully but firmly just gonna open this to fiddle with this uh with, with these toes oh this one's a bit easier and put them flush there you go beautiful Beautiful. Okay. Then um the legs essentially clip together. There's a uh there's a pair of tabs on one of the legs and they tab into the holes on the other and they tap together, fun stuff. Now, uh it's not as dramatic on this one, but also these these wings they slide more down and they're already yeah the move the amount of movement here is not as it's it's not like uh on the other th the, the other three that i have where it slides oh yeah anyway you, you slide them down a bit more yep to sort of align with the uh the back of the thing and then you pop these down best i can tell you do pop these down these little Tabs. And you close up the uh, leg. Or the Actually, no, you don't close up. Yeah, no, hang on, hang on, hang on. You essentially condense the legs. Right? You essentially condense the legs. And as you do, you might come across the cross plate here. And the cross plate actually goes up. It, does, it, does, it moves, moves a decent chunk up. Kind of make space for things. 
So you can dance the legs, and then you sort of essentially, uh, because there is another sort of set of tight ratchet joints at the back of the leg here. So they are supposed to as well. Huh. Oh, I am being silly. It's not the back of the leg the ratchet joints, it's more here. There's actually there this knee alone has something like one, two, three separate different joints for different functions of it. And uh, the one in the middle of it all is the one that I need for the moment for the transformation. It is pretty tight, it is rashy, so I'm gonna probably fiddle with this off camera. But essentially it's supposed to hold in more this way to condense these legs even further. Stay tuned. Aha! There we go! Con legs condensed. Okay, they're not right to do, they were just a little bit weird to fiddle with because of their awkward positioning. But, um, yeah, and that's, and, and, and look at this, you pretty much, as I keep, I keep saying this, you pretty much done. So you just essentially wiggle waggle this thing so that the top of the hips essentially hit right up against the arms. Um, and then, and this has always been a bit of a tricky part, uh, this crotch plate has little tabbies on the side here, which tab into little holies on the arms uh, there, but uh, my personal experience, it never stays in, right, it always pops out, but I always try to sort of pop it in there, and also, as you can probably imagine, these, okay, I did say they didn't interfere with transformation, they really don't, but they do interfere with uh, this particular bit of tabbing. So I'll do my best, probably again fiddle of camera, but yeah, I'm, I've accepted the fact that I will just be a bit loose there. So, yeah. I was wrong. Exhibit A! I don't know how well you can see that, but straight vertical, yeah vertical, because that's the, that's the part right there, straight vertical tabs. Exhibit B! angled vertical holes so i i forgot about this bit actually that yeah this thing would not these things would not fit anyway whether whether the hands would get in the way or not so <laughs> yeah just um we'll have to be a bit loose is all yeah. now you will know that you've done a good job of condensing this whole thing and putting it in, in right if this tab here on the butt flap fits into the hole right there on, <clears throat> on the butt. <laughs> it was a bit easier for me to fiddle off camera with that, but yeah, there you go. It fits in, it's great. Which leaves really only a couple of things to do in terms of transformation. Uh, firstly, these flaps just look back down, and there are uh, tabs here, and there are. Wait, holes there, and that sort of just obviously tabs on. In the meantime, there's also little tabbies here that sort of slide under the flap there as well. And if you're thinking to yourself, boy, it sure must be hard to align holes and tabs you can't really see and you completely cover up as you're aligning them, you're absolutely right. It is bloody hard. It is nearly impossible. I'm, I'm practically guessing here. I'm, I'm wiggling and waggling until I either give up or I hit, or in this case, in the case of the uh, left leg here, I, I did hear a bit of a click and it sort of seems to have tapped in nicely, 
this one this one just doesn't want to i don't know where it is i don't know what i'm doing right or wrong it just eh, and eventually i'm like you know what screw it screw it so in essentially as far as the back you're left with this um and yes this is a run-on issue of the um cult mode with the other seekers as well mileage uh, may vary but the good news is we're again we are pretty much done all that's left is unfolding of the wings essentially so this here gets uh, unfolded out completely as, as does this one ta-da there, there is a double hinge here so it, I needed to pay a little more attention to it and then the wings slide right on down right and then essentially I'll untab this thing which I've been forcing to tab so much and then flips right down same with well, I should probably untap first and then slide it down but it doesn't matter the, the order there is whatever you feel like second yep slides up and then it's essentially tabbing and fiddling with all of this here to make it all line up oh ho turns out this is a bit more fiddly than i realized because if you do push it all the way on this point up here it will conflict with the arm there so you have to actually push it out a certain amount in between that is that is interesting these have been some of the fiddliest wings i had to put in place on these yet and okay we are almost done and honestly we are done except that now there's this thing left and if i understand it correctly then this simply goes in like uh oh wait the other way around oh yeah 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 okay so this bit here hooks under that under that bit there so essentially it does like so and somehow somewhere it's supposed to like that? One second. Ta-da! Yeah, it took a bit of uh, force and again a bit of fiddly to get it in there. And, um, you know, let me know if this is parts forming or simply accessorizing because as far as I can tell, you don't really need it underneath here. In fact, I didn't. This is the first time I bought it to put one in like this. To be fair, that's because I couldn't figure it out for a long time. But now I know how it's supposed to be in there, so might as well, right? But, um, yeah. Yeah, okay. We have cute little landing gear at the back here. A nice uh, bigger one at the front here. And there we go. That's the complete ultimate. I obviously have popped on everything I could under the wings. There's uh, available slots at the edge and more in, in for things uh, they peg on the same kind of peg so you can put whichever wherever however you want in whatever configuration I did pop on the shoulder nose uh, cones essentially for the now rays or blasts whatever uh, and uh, yeah I think it looks pretty good I mean it almost doesn't even because that was the point for the for the other guys that they only had the one thing and the missiles and kind of look but for some reason these just they, they kind of get lost you know in, in the it's like oh yeah okay that's better that looks better i mean it's all personal preference and like i said the configurations can be whatever you want um but Oh, okay. That looks fun. Um, although, there we go. That's better. <laughs>
So inadvertently showing off the uh, multiplitude of the configurations for under the wings there. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but the wings do droop a little bit. That is not so much ab uh, about what's under them, it's so much it's what's in them. It's this box with this propeller that is adding to the weight than what the I pretty sure the mold was designed for originally, so it does make them look a tiny bit, not too much, but I mean, maybe, hmm, maybe I'll consider if I were to display this in a long-term fashion on this shelf somehow, but consider maybe propping the wings on something as, as in, 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 inconspicuous as possible to sort of prop them up a bit. Just to avoid any problems, it is a bit. It is a bit unfortunate, I guess, honestly. Um, but I don't know. It doesn't seem to cause any any issues or anything. It does have been pretty well in there, and it still looks solid enough. And it is still solid enough. Um, the actually the one good thing about this guy is that the top is the cleanest I've seen. Outside of maybe uh, Skycrow, uh, Meteor, Flash Side Scream, and, and Lightning Flash, Thundercracker, they both suffered from a decent amount of uh, tabbing and lining up issues at the top. Uh, this guy, no, pretty clean. Besides the droop, slightly droopy um, wings, there is only really an issue here, but again, that is seems to be kind of unavoidable with this mold, unfortunately. These are not as egregious either. I've seen I've seen worse. I have ones that have worse. So mileage I keep saying this but mileage will vary with things like these. I mean there there is you know sizable gap in there. There's it's not it's not perfect. It's not. Uh from a distance it's great. But you know look closer and obvious flaws will appear but overall oh oh this this is an alt mode this is a jet this is a whoosh 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 yeah this is definitely a whoosh a whoosh out of ten no um easy nine out of ten for the alt mode as well Overall, I, I, as always, as with the other three Seekers, I would give this a 9 out of 10. And this is probably just my overall rating for the mold itself in general. I have now seen essentially two variations of the mold as far as uh, actual design. Not just color palette, but actual like design variations. This guy did cost me a decent chunk more than either of the previous ones that I have. I'm still very happy with them, but I would not probably, and this pains me to say, I would not probably wholeheartedly recommend to go and out and grab it at full price as is. If you snag it on a, on a sale, it'll totally be great. I mean, if you're a fan of Seekers and you're a fan of this character by any chance, then you know what? You, you probably can't go better than this. For G1, for masterpiece scale, for cartoon accuracy, for solid, you know, very much uh, durable build, with some little, you know, hiccups here and there, but, you know, nobody's perfect. But uh, I think, honestly, this is as close as you'll get. I completely forgot about this. Oh, -ha. wow! Zoomy zoom zoom. Okay, okay. Um, holy shit! This look a little wobbly, but it's good. It's good. It's solid. The the joints on this are very solid, but like, damn. Okay, that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, no, no, the, 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 the wings don't seem to droop anymore or anything. They seem to just stay in place. They're a little, yeah, but, um, wow. 
Oh wow. Yeah. Um that that's dope. 